Before we move on and look at another iteration construct, I thought it would be a good idea to get some practice in with what you've already learned. I've written a program here which makes use of an if block and a couple of for loops. I'll show you what it does first, then you can pause the video and try to write it yourself. When you're ready, you can look at my solution. My button has the text count up odd or even because that's what it does. Let's see. First, I'm asked what number do you want to count up to? I'd like to count up to 10. Then I'm asked do you want odd numbers or even numbers? Notice I'm using an input box here. You've seen this in an earlier video. I want the even numbers. And my program comes back with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Let's run it again. What number do you want to count up to? I can choose any number I like. I'll go with 10 again. Odd or even numbers. Let's try the odd numbers this time. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And that's it. Let's just give it one more try. Let's count up to 20. Odd or even. Let's go with odd again. So that's the idea. If you want to try writing this program yourself, pause the video now and give it a go and then you can resume the video when you're ready to see my solution. I should say there's no one way to solve this problem. And here's my solution. I've declared a variable called imax, which is the number the program will count up to. It's an integer variable. I've declared a string variable called st odd or even, which will store odd or even depending on what the user types in. And then I have another variable called x, which will be my loop counter. It'll control passage through the count controlled loops. I start by asking the user what number they would like to count up to. That value gets assigned to imax. Then I ask the user, do you want odd numbers or even numbers? And that gets assigned to st odd or even. I now have an if block where I'm testing the value of st odd or even. If the user typed in even, then we have a for loop which will count up in even numbers. Notice that I'm starting from 2 and counting up to imax and I'm using the step clause to say that I want to step two at a time. So that's going to give me the even numbers up to the number that the user types in. Else, if st odd or even is equal to odd, then I have a for loop which starts at one, runs to imax, but also steps two at a time. So we start with one, then we add two, then we add two, and so on. As I said, this is just my solution. You might have come up with something slightly different. For example, you might have used two separate if statements, like this. And that's fine, because it will work. Having said that, using a single if block with an else if clause is a little bit more efficient, because this program will have to perform both tests. Did you get something similar? Did yours work? If not, why not try my approach?